Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Rebecca Jones. I'm going to read part three, a book part three, um, of a series from um, Kobe Yamada. This is, um, he has a three-part series. What do you do with an idea? What do you do with a problem? And then what do you do with a chance? Remember how the problem ended? We had an opportunity. Every problem presents an opportunity. So today I'm going to read that one to you, okay? All right, here we get started. What do you do with a chance? <clears throat> and all of his has a little thing that goes with it. Here's his little chance. Okay. One day, I got a chance. It just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me. As if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance? I wonder. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted to, me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and I pulled back. And so it flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. I went to reach for it, but I missed it and fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. Until one day, I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I knew I want, I did, I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid. And I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave again. And then I thought, maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then, one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining off into the distance. Is it possible? I hoped. Could this be my chance? It wasn't that I no, was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. Here it comes. 
and I got closer. As I got closer, I could see that this was really a huge chance. But this time, I was ready. As I came by, as it came by, I reached out and I grabbed it. I held on with all my might. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I felt so good to soar and to fly and to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. Now the page has all this light on it. Look at it. So what do you do with a chance? You take it. Because it might just be the start of something incredible. <laughs> Off he goes. The end. There's another great story.